ladies and gentlemen, to Sims Ray High Girls Basketball tonight. As we, as tonight, we have the Northwest Catholic Alliance taking on your Sims Ray Trojans. My name is Will Bronlick, and joined with me is my broadcast partner, a proud junior of Sims Ray High School, Sam Poblano. Sam, thank you so much for joining me. No problem. And I don't know about you, but I am super excited about the season. I want to see what this uh, team brings to the table. Yeah, me too. They seem pretty good from what I've seen in warm-ups so far. And I mean, I know some of them from school. And I had gym class with one of them last year. They're, she was really good. So. And we have senior night uh, tonight, and uh, Coach Sam Zulo uh, honoring uh, the Northwest Catholic seniors. So, first two seniors being uh, honored are Megan Alonzo, and number 20, and number 11, Kelsey Alonzo. Very nice. So, next up, we have number 10, Ellie Koff. Next up, we have number 24, Reese Willison. That is so cool. Uh, she made her decision already. Yeah, that's crazy. And next up, we have number. Okay. Oh, we have number four, Maura Hughes. One of our captains, number double zero, Laura and Sabia. Up another captain, number one, Sammy Labardi. And the uh, last senior being uh, honored, number 25, Captain Faye Kablinski.
Harvard play. She does everything that we ask. We're excited to not only see her play next year, but to see what she can also do at the next level. Congratulations, Betty. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We're just going to warm up for a couple more minutes, get a late food, and then we'll get the game started. That is awesome. Uh, senior night came early tonight, this yeah. se season. I was surprised when I heard fourth year of varsity. That was, yeah, four, uh, fourth. That's crazy. It's, it's amazing uh, how uh, much uh, time uh, could pass and how much of an impact you could have on a program uh, yeah. like these uh, girls have uh, done for this uh, team. Yep. All right, so how about we go through each of these uh, these teams that are playing tonight. So for our Trojans, they average about 55 points per game, and the average that are scored against them is around 38. Their last win was against Berlin. They had, were supposed to have a game on Friday the 16th, but that got delayed due to uh, some inclement weather, and they are in uh, Class L. Uh, you want to uh, share what we know about Northwest Catholic so far? Northwest Catholic is averaging about 39 points per game, and they're allowing about 34. Their last win was against Weathersfield in their Class S. All right, uh, very good. And uh, we have uh, Coach Sam Zulo coaching in his 10th season for the Sims Ray girls team with assistant coaches Rick Bangs, Billy Inuich, and Farani, and uh, Kim Day. As for Northwest Catholic, they are coached uh, by uh, Ali uh, Connors and assistant coaches Ed Connors and Nicole Blake. And both teams stand at 1-0, so one would think that this would be a pretty even game. I think so. I think Simsbury will win, though. I mean, from what I've seen from their uh, like averages with points for and against, it seems like they have the uh, advantage. Yep, and we were actually at the uh, uh, Simsbury boys' uh, basketball game against uh, Hartford Public. Good win by uh, the boys. However, Hartford Public came to play that night. Yeah, they looked tough. They looked like a good team. They were tough. They were aggressive. They were fast. Uh, they gave Simsbury a run for their money. Yep, good game. Came down to the last like minute. I think yeah. Simsbury won 44 to 37. Yeah, it was about uh, that. Somewhere around there. Yep. Good game to watch. Yep. Fun game. I think this uh, will go to show that I think both the boys and girls will have some fun seasons this year. I agree. So uh, one thing y'all should know about my uh, colleague, about my broadcast partner Sam, is that he's also on the Simsbury High football team. And uh, we've it's been uh, quite a ride for uh, the Sims Ray High football team, hasn't it? Yeah, it was um, it was a lot of fun, but it didn't turn out the way we wanted to. Yeah, you're gonna turn it. They'll turn it around. I'm Hopefully sure. Hopefully, we'll turn it around next year. I'm sure of it. Uh, but, I have full confidence in them. But on the boys' team, I know a lot of the people because they used to play football, like uh, like Daniel Sullivan. I love that dude so much. He's really good too. Excellent. They're all they're all really nice guys too, and they're all good. That is so fantastic to hear. And we will have uh, introductions coming up in just a moment. Freshman, uh, Maeve uh, Staunton. Freshman, number 30, Adam B. Casper. Number two, Lily Pear, a junior. And number one, uh, Maeve Ruchin, a junior. And number three, Abby Hubert. Starting out, we have Ellie Koff, and we have Maura Hughes. Next, Samuel Lombardi. Faye Koblinski at number 25, and number double zero, Lauren Sabia.
All right, on our end, it is a pretty packed stands. We have the parents, we have the Trojan Wall student section over to our far right, and we should be good to go. All right, Sam, you ready to kick off our uh, broadcasting career with SETV? Yes, I am, Will. <laughs> now, from what I remember, is that normally uh, any contest between Simsbury and Northwood Cac is, like, is usually a pretty competitive game. Mm -hmm. And the JV girls just had their game against the. Uh, Northwood Catholic, and they had a pretty impressive win. Yeah, it wasn't very competitive from what I saw. It was a pretty comfortable win. I think it was like 33-13 maybe. Yes, uh, and the tip goes to Simsbury. And it looks like... They're going to have to redo it. They're going to re gonna redo it. Number two, Lily Pear is doing it for Northwest Ca Catholic. And number four, Maura Hughes. And West Northwest West Catholic has the ball. Yeah. Now, the good thing about uh, high school basketball is that there's no shot clock uh, here. Yeah. You can take as much time as they want. Seems very doing a good job putting pressure. Oh. Ooh. That's out. And possession will go back. So it's ball. It's a great ball, yep. Now they looked impressive on defense. Let's see what they can do on offense here. Sam Lombardi passes it to Komplinski. To uh, Koff. Double dribble. Double dribble, and it'll go back to Northwest Catholic. Number five, Maeve Staunton will take it up. And number, number two, Lily Pear sends it over back to oh. Staunton. And that was a charge. Yeah, I think it was a charge. Was that number five, Maeve uh, Staunton? Yep, it was no, Maeve Staunton. The first team foul of the night. Some sort ball. Komplinski taking it down the court. Sends it to Lombardi. Passes it to Koff. Komplinski again. Oh, looking, to strike, looking to strike first, but they couldn't get it done. Maybe Staunton will take it up again. Shoots it. And miss. It's out of bounds, and the Trojans will... Simsbury ball. Yep. Xavier has it. Abby Casper playing some good defense. Blitzy looking for someone open. The shot. Miss. Number three will take it up. Abby Tubert. Passes it to Maeve Staunton. It's number one, Maeve Russian. Back to number 30, Abby Casper. It's a miss. Tim Lombardi with the rebound. Back to Maura Hughes. Ah, oh, couldn't get it. Number five taking it up, and it's in. And Northwest Catholic gets the first points of the game. Maeve Staunton. Oh, picked off. A steal. Number one has it. Back to Maeve Staunton. We'll pass to number oh, one, and it gets nice. smacked out. Number two gets it, though. Nearly went out of bounds. Maeve Russian has it with the shot, and no good. Oh, Almost here. a steal there. Moria Hughes has it. 
And uh, Sims Ray is calling, or no, not Sims Ray, not. And Sims Ray is calling a quick timeout. I think they're bringing in subs. Yeah, they are going to bring in subs. Looks like they're going to bring in number 24, Reese Willison. And number 32, Amanda Gallagher. So we have about five minutes left to go in this first uh, period. The North West Catholic is up two to nothing. Good defense so far by both teams. Very good de uh, defense. You know what they say, talent, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. Exactly. Number 14, Zoe Canning is in. All right, Amanda Gallagher has the ball starting off for this Trojan possession. Sends it to Mora Hughes. Back to Sabia. And, and the Trojans are now on the board. Good shot. Maeve Staunton taking it up. And oh, just missed it. It was a nice layup. Missed by Lily Pear. Just missed. And Gallagher sends it over to Komplinski. Oh, nearly lost it. And, and it looks like we got, what, it's a jump ball. Jump ball. Possession goes to Northwest Catholic. Or no, it goes back to Simsbury. Oh, I just missed. Maybe Staunton taking it up, passes to Abby Casper, and it goes out of bounds. Or Casper, my bad. Or no, this is Casper. Yeah, this is Casper. Oh. Like the ghost. <laughs> All right, and this is Ray. We'll take it up. Lauren Sabia has uh, the ball. Good shot. We went up. Oh, just missed. Oh, second rebound. chance. And it's in. Very good. Four points so far for Lauren Sabia. Maeve, uh, oops, Maeve Staunton taking it up. Passes number 30, Abby Casper. And it's a miss. Amanda Gallagher with the rebound. And it looks like we have a foul on Northwest uh, Catholic. Simsbury ball. And uh, we have 3.38 left. It seems right now leads 4-2. to two. As you said, Sam, some very good defense on uh, both ends. Number 25, Brooke Popella is in for Northwest Catholic. Samuel Lombardi with the ball. And it is out. And it'll go to North 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 North. Yep. Maeve Staunton has the ball, bringing it up. Pass to Maeve Russian, who shoots it and misses. Anna Gallagher now with the, the ball for our, our Trojans. Pass to Samuel Lombardi. Back up, shot. To the Blitzky, and it's missed. Brooke Papella taking it up. Passes to Maeve Staunton, who shoots it and misses. Amanda Gallagher with the rebound, taking it up. Turns and it Maeve Russian with the steal. And Sammy Lombardi with the steal right back again. Pass to Amanda Gallagher, who shoots it and misses. Ah. Exactly. Maeve Staunton taking it back up. Passes it right to the other team. Okay. Amanda Gallagher has the ball. Passes it to Moria Hughes. We have complete key. In the paint, and uh, it's just nope. missed. Maeve Staunton taking it up. Pass to number I 14, Zoe 14. Canning. Zoe Canning. Back to, back to Maeve Staunton, who makes and it. And a three. 
And just like that, Northwest Catholic takes back the lead. She has all five of their points so far. And Lauren Seavey has all four of Simsbury's. Kablinski driving it in. Good pass. Very good pass. So Lombardi has it. Back to Kablinski. Shoot that. To, to Hughes. Oh, just no. missed. 25 with the rebound. Brooke Capella passes it to Maeve Staunton, who's taking it up. Goes up and gets blocked. Looks like a foul, though. Yeah, I don't think it's a foul on Simsbury. Yep, the first team foul is on number four, Maura Hughes. Lauren Savia is back in for the game for the Trojans. Inbound to number 12, Olivia Knorr. Pass number 14, Zoe Canning. Back to number 30, Abby Another Casper three. with the three. And we are at the one minute mark of the uh, first uh, period. Uh, Northwest Catholic leads with eight to four. Just missed. Number uh, 25, Brooke Capella with the rebound, who Ooh. gives it to number 14, Zoe Canning. It was nearly blocked right there. Block. Abby Casper has the ball. Gives it to number 12, Olivia Noor. Takes the shot from the corner and misses. And it looks like Ooh, nice, re nice recovery nice there. Nice recovery by number 30, Abby Casper, and a foul. There's a foul on number one, Sam Lombardi. That is her first and the second team foul. Number 25, Brooke Papella inbounds it to number 12, Olivia Noor, who gives it to number one, Maeve Russian. Back to number 25, Brooke Papella, who misses. Rebound by Amanda Gallagher. Amanda Gallagher is now taking it up for the Trojans. Passes it to Willison, to Laura Sabian. Oh, deflected. Number 30 with the steal, Abby Casper. Gives it, and it's out. And that is the first quarter. End of the first quarter. And Northwest Catholic is up 8 to 4. A very defensive battle so far. So far, uh, Maeve Staunton seems to be the one getting the ball the most. Yep. And Abby Lauren, Casper with a nice shot and some good defense. And Lauren Sabian has all four of Simsbury's uh, points. So what would you say uh, Simsbury should do going into the second period? I think they're playing good. I just think they're not, like, finishing well. Mm -hmm. They need to make their shots. I think they're playing really good defense, and they're moving, like, you know, they're getting down the court when they have the ball, but they're just not finishing well. 100%. They can start to finish. I think they can take the game away. 100%. And Northwest Catholic playing some very solid uh, defense. I mean, uh, they, how many takeaways do you think they've had so far? A lot. A lot. <laughs> I can't really uh, say a number. I'd say about five. Okay. So some very good uh, points uh, being made. And uh, let's see what uh, Coach Zulo does uh, for the girls here. Number three, Abby Tuber, inbounding it to number five, Maeve Staunton. Takes it up, passes to number 14, Zoe Canning. Gives it back to number three, Abby Tuber. Passes it to number 30, Abby Casper. Goes up and shoots it, and it's in. Wow. Now Lauren Sabia has the ball for our Trojans. Number 30, yeah, Abby Casper, right on her. Kabl Faye Kablinski has the ball, sends it over to Maura Hughes, to Reese Willison, and blocked. Oh, as soon as gets it back. Blocked by number 15, Susanna Schwab. Seems where gets the ball back, looks like, could be wrong. And it looks like it'll be a 
foul on number 15, which is Susanna Schaub. Susanna Schaub. It'll be her first, Inbound. team's third. Lord Savia with the ball, shoots it. Misses. Number five, Maeve Staunton with the rebound, taking it up. Pass to number 14, Zoe Canning, who gives it to oh, nearly number three, up. Abby Tubert, who misses. Nearly turned over there. Number 15, Susanna Schaub with the rebound and the jump ball. And it looks like it's going to Simsbury. Yes. Yep, fake Walensky going to take possession. And it looks like we have a foul on number three, Abby Hubert. Can make a quick change. More Hughes inbounds it to Lauren Sabia. Let's see if we can get some points up on the board. Reese Willison. And Gallagher, the Gallagher. With the shot, and it is there. We go. Three. Scores now 10-7. Maeve Staunton taking it up. Gives it to number 14, Zoe Canning. Who gives it to number 30, Abby Casper? Who passes it back to number 14, Zoe Canning? Who shoots it and makes it? Now Lauren Sabia. We are about the six-minute mark in this uh, second quarter. It is 12-7, Northwest Catholic. Lauren Sabia with the open. Miss. Oh, but Simsbury recovers, and fake Oblinsky. Oh. oh, and a block. Block, a and it looks like a foul, too. Foul was on number 30, Abby Casper. And Fake Kablinski will be going to the line to shoot two. Can first one miss. Can we get the first one? She makes this one. It'll be a four point game. Second shot is also missed. Maeve rushing with the rebound, gives it to Maeve Staunton. Who passes it to, oh, it gets swatted away. Stays with Northwest Catholic, but a good deflection right there. And, and Sam Lombardi is coming back in for the Trojans, in for Maura Hughes. Looking for an opening there. Inbound to number 30, Abby Casper. Who gives it to number 15, Susanna Schaub. Passes it back to Maeve Staunton. With the spin move and the shot, and it's missed. Rebound by number 14, Zoe Canning, who shoots it and makes it. That is her fourth point of the game. Northwest Catholic with a seven point lead right now. Simsbury's gotta start uh, finishing when they have the ball. Let's see if we can get some points right here. And he gets, gets the basket and the end one. They needed that. Now you got to make this free throw. Mm -hmm. This is to make this a four point game with approximately five minutes left to go until halftime. And there we go. It. So Lauren Tavia with seven points right now and Amanda Gallagher with, th with, with that uh, beautiful three pointer from earlier. Maeve Staunton passes it to Zoe Canning, who passes it back to Abby Casper. Who gives it to number one, Maeve Russian, who shoots it and misses. And it is Simsbury Ball. Good job. Or, or is it Simsbury Ball? It is Simsbury it Ball. Is Very good job, uh, not like in contact. Yeah. Komplinski sends it over to Wilson. Now let's see if uh, the Trojans can capitalize on this possession. Oh, and a huge block by Maeve Russian. 
Good block, and it will stay with the Trojans. Willison. already has it. Yep. Sends it to Gallagher. Shoots it. Sends and, it up. And, oh, just misses. They've rushed him with the rebound, who gives it to Zoe Canning. Oh, nice fake there. Gives it back to Maeve Russian. Who passes it to number two, Lily Pear. Who gives it to number 30, Abby Casper. Who gives it to number 14, Zoe Canning, who misses. But the rebound by Lily Pear gives it back to Maeve Russian with the three and misses again. And the rebound by Sam Lombardi. Very nice getting in there. All right, Mandy Gallagher now bringing up the ball for the Trojans. We have about four minutes left to go in this second quarter. Uh, Northwest Catholic uh, leads 14 to 10 over our Trojans. Lauren Sabia now looking for an opening here. It's blocked and Northwest Catholic will take over. Zoe Canning will take it up. Passes it to number five, oh, attempts nice. to pass it to number five, Maeve Staunton, who gets taken away by Amanda Gallagher. Who gives it to Sammy Lombardi, who should have shot there, in my opinion. But I'm not very good at basketball, so. Take Komblinski to Lauren Sabia. Back to Gallagher. Who shoots a three and, oh, just misses. It looks like Northwest Catholic ball. Northwest Catholic ball. It's about three and a half left in the second. All right, uh, Sam, let's see what our Trojans can uh, do on defense. And it looks like the Northwest Catholic wants to talk it over. So, so it seems to be uh, about uh, the same as the first uh, quarter. A very defensive uh, battle on uh, both ends uh, with some uh, pretty good shots here. Yeah. Just a... Uh, I think they can uh, choose which shots to shoot better. I feel like, I don't know, from what I saw from up here, it looked like Sandy Lombardi had an open three and she kind of just stalled and passed it to somebody else. Yep. And I feel like you got to take those shots when you have the opportunity to. No, for sure. And we have three and a half minutes left to go in this second period. The Northwest Catholic still leads to 14 to who with 10. The Trojan faithful has uh, definitely showed up uh, here at Sunbury High School. All right, Maeve Miss Staunton inbounding it. Looking for looking for an opening. Number thirty, Abby Casper, who passes it to number twenty-five, Brooke Papella, who gives it back to number one, Maeve Russian, passes it to number five, Maeve Staunton. Who's about at half court right now? Who gives it to Maeve Russian. Oh, beautiful pass right there, but it gets oh, picked it gets off. Stolen. Lauren Sabian now with the ball. Looking for an opening. Sends it to Gallagher. Back to Reese Willison. To Faye Komplinski. Sabian with nice the shot. Jump shot. And it's in. And it's in. That is now five points for uh, Laura Sabian for this quarter. Number 25, Brooke uh, Papella sends it over to number one, Maeve Russian. With the charge. A foul, and it looks like it's going to be an and one. No, it's no, actually. It a charge, so it seems very ball. So that will be. Uh, Maeve Russian's first uh, personal foul and the seventh team foul of uh, this half. It is now a two-point game. Trojans looking uh, to tie it right here or take the lead. Lauren Sabia back to Gallagher. Who shoots the three and... Oh, so close. And it is Northwest Catholic call. Yeah, it looks like uh, one of our, uh, it looks like uh, Faye Komblinski touched it last. Brooke Papella will inbound it to number five, Maeve Staunton. He gives it to number two, Lily Pear. Who tries oh. to give it back to Maeve Staunton. Any further, that could have been a backcourt violation. And a big pass. pass to number 25, Brooke Papella. 
And Makes that's it. the end one. Their first two points of the game. And the foul. It looks like it'll be on number one, Sammy. Uh, nope, on number one, Sammy Gallagher, her second personal foul. And uh, they get foul the foul shot is good. They, get a, they, they complete the three-point play. The data puts Northwest Catholic up by five with a little less than two minutes to play. And Gallagher, nice pass to Willison. It's Lauren Sabia. Ooh. And it looks like it's a foul on Northwest Catholic. No, it'll actually be number 20. It'll be number 30, Abby Casper. And Lauren Sabia will be going to the line to shoot two. Ah, uh, first one just misses. All right, here we go. To cut the lead down to four. And second shot is good. Very good. Cuts the lead down to four with a minute 40 left to play in the first half. Maybe Lauren, Staunton bringing it up. Lauren Sabian now has uh, 10 points total this whole game. Amanda Still Gallagher. by Amanda Gallagher. With a block by Maeve Staunton. Good. Maura Hughes gets it back. Gives it back to Amanda Gallagher. He brings it back up and makes the nice recovery. Shot. Cutting the lead down to two with a minute 15 left in the half. Maeve Staunton with the shot. And misses Amanda Gallagher with the rebound. Trojans rallying right here. Lauren Sabia with the ball. Back to Amanda Gallagher. To Maura Hughes. We have one minute left to go in this uh, second period. Oh, nice pass there. Oh, and oh a steal by Maeve Russian. He gives it to Maeve Staunton, who tries to throw it to number 15, Susanna Shaw, but it goes out of bounds, and it looks like Simsbury ball. And it is Simsbury ball. Got to be careful when you make those uh, large passes across yeah. the court, because uh, there could be a point where it could be tipped, or it could be deflected, or it could even go out of bounds. Very high-risk, high-reward type of uh, pass. It's either going to be an absolute dime or it's not. And it looks like uh, a Northwest Catholic ball. Yep, Northwest Catholic Lily ball. Lily Pear will inbound it to number five, Maeve Staunton. Takes it up for the quick pass to number two, Lily Pear. Who gives it to number one, Maeve Russian. Who gives it to number two, Lily Pear, who shoots the three and misses. Simsbury with the rebound. And it looks a like foul. Simsbury ball. With 14.4 seconds left in the first half. Yep, and the foul Down is on. Two. And the foul is on number 15, Susanna, Sh Susanna Schaub. That's the ninth team foul for Northwest Catholic. And her, her second personal foul. And Faye Kaplinski will be going to the line to uh, be shooting uh, foul shots. I think it's for two. <coughs> Make both of these, you got a tie game. That'd be great to uh, go into halftime with a tie. Oh, there's only one shot. There's only one shot, okay. Zoe Canning with the rebound gives it to Maeve Staunton. Who goes up with it and misses. Simsbury with the rebound. Who gives it to Amanda Gallagher. And a, um, <coughs> a nice, ni nice shot attempt. Nice shot attempt? <laughs> to, to finish it. Okay, so uh, at halftime, uh, the Northwest Catholic Lions are leading our Trojans 17-15. to 15. Amanda Gallagher so far has five points total this, uh, no, this uh, game. Two for this uh, no, period. And Lauren Sabia has, uh, and also Amanda Gallagher had that uh, at a, a three-pointer er, earlier oh, yeah. in the first period. And Lauren Sabia has a total of ten, with six total this uh, 
per this period. Yeah, she's got about two thirds of a Simsbury's points right now. Maeve yeah. Staunton with five points, Zoe Canning with four, Brooke Papella with three, and Abby Casper with five points for Northwest yeah. Catholic. All right, uh, so we, we are going to uh, take a quick break, and when we come back, it'll be uh, the second half of our Simsbury High girls uh, basketball team, a very competitive, very defensive uh, contest, and it is senior night. We are looking forward to bringing you more action. We will be right back. Welcome back, everybody, to Simsbury High girls basketball. Here is the story uh, so far. Northwest Catholic. So far is beating our Simsbury Trojans 17 to 15 going into the third period. Our girls are doing very well defensively. Offensively, they're trying to make to get some points. Not finishing well. They're, getting, they're getting, trying to get some points up on the board, but we're looking to change that in the second half. So I thought we could uh, check in and see uh, how uh, how the rest of, of the next coming weeks uh, or next coming days will come up looking for both teams. So f we actually have a program you know, for the Trojans. Their next game you know, will be uh, at Avon, and then they're actually going to be going to Amsterdam High School to take on. Shaker and Bethlehem, this is all in New York State, and is a part of a college showcase uh, event. That's cool. There's going to be another college showcase event happening on January 21st and the 22nd uh, against Averill Park and Shenandoah. As for uh, Wood Northwest Catholic, the next games coming up are Weatherfield, Hall, and Valley Regional. And here are the Trojans looking to uh, make something happen out of this third period. Lauren Sabia starting off with the ball. Sends it to Reese Willison. And Gallagher back to Sabio. Maeve okay. Russian with the, with the steal. Gives it to Maeve Staunton, who gives it to Abby Hubbard. Gives it back to Maeve Staunton. Who gives it to Lily Pear. Who gives it to Abby Hubbard. Who passes it back to Maeve Russian. Who gives it back to Abby Hubbard. And then Abby Casper has the ball. Pass to a wide open Lily Pear who misses the three pointer. And like we stated earlier, no shot clock in the high school basketball. So uh, they can uh, pass around the ball for as much as they'd like. All right, so Maura Hughes has it for our Trojans. Laura Sabia sends it. Oh, nice shot. And just like that, our Trojans take the lead. That was water. Abby Hubbard with the ball. Gives it to Maeve Staunton. With the foul on Simsbury. And somebody getting a little uh, frustrated. <laughs> All right, did Northwest Catholic. Um, that is number five for uh, Maeve, Stan Maeve Stanton. Lily nice Pear with nice recovery. The, oh, very good catch Abby right there. Abby Hubbard with the ball. Gives it to Lily Pear. Passes it to Maeve Staunton. Has the ball around half court right now. And we are about at the six-minute mark. Good defense by Maura Hughes. Oh, nice defensive stand by the Trojans. Now they're going to work their way up the court. We have, with the ball. we have T minus six minutes left in the third period. Trojans lead 18 to 17. And Amanda oh. Gallagher with a beautiful layup, but couldn't finish Abby it. Hubbard with oh, with Laura Sabio. Nice shot. And that puts Simsbury ahead by three. Right. And Northwest Catholic will be taking a timeout. And this crowd is uh, very, very much into it. You know, last time I checked, I didn't think uh, Saquon Barkley was on the uh, Simsbury Trojans basketball team. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. This is what happens uh, after football season. Yeah. It's what he does when he uh, gets injured. Uh, 
comes a part-time uh, high school coach. That actually would be a pretty cool to have like a former NBA, a former NBA or a former NFL player be your coach. Yeah. Or like, just like during their off time. Yep. Like, like obviously like, how Saquon Barkley is right now. <laughs> yeah, like they could pass on their knowledge to you, uh, like to make you a better player and a better person as well. Exactly. I remember uh, one of the school, one of uh, my alma mater's rival schools, they have a former Carolina Panther as their football coach. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. That's really cool. Do you know who it was? Uh, Mike Minter. I haven't heard of him, but... That's really cool. Yeah. All right. The Trojans now have a fairly comfortable lead. Let's see. Abby Hubbard inbounds it to Maeve Staunton, who gives it to Lily Pear, who passes it back to Abby Hubbard. Who gabs it? Oh, oh! Maeve Staunton drops it, but it's picked up by Lily Pear, who passes it to Abby Hubbard. A good recovery there. Who by gives North it back Catholic. to Maeve Staunton, who catches it this time. A nice move. Who gives it to Lily Pear in the corner? Trojans. Maeve Russian has the ball right now. Passes it to Abby Hubbard. Gives it back to Maeve Staunton at the top of the key. Oh, seems like some miscommunication going on a little right bit. Now. Oh, Abby Casper with the ball and, and the bucket. Oh. Very close basket right there. Good pass. Very good pass. Komplinski driving it in. Oh, just missed. Rebound by Maeve Russian, who gives it to Maeve Staunton. It looks like who good. passes it to Abby Casper. Looks like they might have gets another bucket. And Northwest Catholic retakes the lead with four and a half minutes left to go in the game or in the third period. It is twenty-one to twenty <coughs> Northwest Catholic. Mark Seabury now with the ball shoots with a three. three. Nice three. Oh, and she gets and that it. Was water. That's eight points so far in this quarter for Lauren Sabia. They've stunned with the pass that gets deflected by Amanda Gallagher. Stays with the Northwest Catholic. And it looks like... They are subbing in Zoe Cannon to take out Lily Pear. And Sammy Lombardi coming back in for the Trojans. Subbing in for Maura Hughes. The shot missed. By Abby Hubbard. Amanda Manica. Gallagher taking it up. Pass it to Sabia. Chicken. Oh. Aw. Maeve Staunton with the rebound. Who gives it to Maeve Russian? Who gives it back to Maeve Staunton? And it's a traveling. And it's Sinsbury ball. With about 3.45 left to go in the third quarter. All right, we got Amanda Gallagher bringing it up uh, for the Trojans. Back to Lauren Savio. Nice pass there to Willison. And it looks like it was a foul. Northwest Catholic ball. Yep. Brooke Papella is going to inbound it to Maeve Staunton. Takes it up, Samuel Lombardi on defense. Gives it to Zoe Canning. Amanda Gallagher. On the swings defense. it to Brooke Papella, who gives it to oh, Abby wow. Canning with her sixth point this quarter. And we got ourselves a tie game here with about three minutes left to go in the third period. Jacob Blinsky now with the ball. Sends it to Lauren Sabia. Another shot. And another, another beautiful beauty. My goodness. Maeve Staunton with the ball. Goes up for the layup and misses. Simsbury with the rebound. And Mayla Gallagher taking it up. Good recovery right there for the Trojans. Lauren Savy now with the ball. With another Once shot. Again. Oh. oh. Maeve Russian with the rebound taking it up. And a foul on, it looks like it's going to be on Lauren Sabia. Northwest Catholic ball. 
It'll be her first personal uh, foul. Maybe Team. Staunton will inbound it. To number 25, Brooke Papella, who gives it to Abby Casper. And it is out of bounds. Out of bounds. Stays with Northwest Catholic. Once again, Maeve Staunton will try to inbound it with Samuel Lombardi defending. Gives it again to Brooke Papella, who gives it to Maeve Russian. Oh. With the shot and the Oh, break. wow. Wow. And once again, we have a tie game. Her first three points of the game. Nice shot. Very clean. Lauren Sabian now with the ball. Passes it to Gallagher. Back to Sabia. Shoots another shot and Beautiful. makes another shot. She's on fire. You got to keep up. She is. Her the ball. Once you get into a rhythm in basketball, you can't, like, stop. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? You got to just keep giving them the ball and mm -hmm. keep letting them do their thing. So right now it is a three-point game. Our Trojans lead Northwest Catholic. 29 to 26 with two minutes left to go in the third period. Much better quarter than first half was. So oh, a hundred percent agree. What was it? 17, 15 going into half. Halftime. I mean, they've already doubled that and it hasn't even been a full quarter. There's still two minutes left and their defense has only held Northwest Catholic to about nine points. Yep. Well, they have scored 14. Two minutes left. I think uh, this uh, this is a preview of what we're, is to come for this upcoming season. I think we're in for a treat, Sam. I do too. They look pretty good. They look kind of. They started kind of slow, but they're. I think they're picking it up now. They're very much picking up. They're starting to find their rhythm here. It exactly. looks like momentum's on their side right now. Now it's only a matter of keeping the momentum on their side uh, throughout the rest of this period and going into uh, the fourth quarter. Now these periods go by relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. They do. A lot can happen in only eight minutes. That is true. There's still two minutes left in this quarter. Brooke Papella will inbound it to Maeve Staunton. Passes it to Brooke Papella, who gives it to Abby Casper, who passes a nice shot to Zoe Canning, who misses. Rebound by Simsbury, Amanda Gallagher has it. Kaplinski now with the ball to Wilson. Back to Sabia, who has been tremendous tonight. And Gallagher back to Kaplinski. Wilson passes to Stanley Lombardi. Oh, nearly. Oh, the dangerous pass right there, but Simsbury recovers. Since right now gets a. Uh, he gets to start over here. Sam Lombardi. Oh, has Taunton nice on her. Kaplinski. And we have reached the one minute mark of this third period. Kaplinski going in. And, and she gets it. That is her first bucket of the game, I believe. 50 seconds left in the quarter. Maeve Staunton with the ball, taking it up. Pass it to Zoe Canning, but a foul. Northwest Catholic yeah. ball. And as a foul on number 25, Faye Kablinski. Maybe Staunton will inbound it. Her first and to Abby teams. Casper, who gives it to Zoe Canning, who oh, she makes all, the layup. She was all alone there. And this is usually when the defense steps it up a little bit. On both ends. Kaplinski sends it to Gallagher. With the miss, but Simsbury with oh, the, the rebound jump. and a foul. And it is a foul on number 25. That is Brooke Papella. It is the first team foul of this half. Faye Kaplinski now. Now the Lauren Sabia now. Nice shot. Again. Good basket. 
Maeve Staunton will take it up, passes it to Abby Casper, who goes up for the shot and misses, but gets his own rebound and misses again. Well, it's another jump ball. Possession goes to Simsbury with 1.9 seconds left to go in the third period. I say just chuck it, <laughs> get the inbound and throw it. Just get, just get it inbound and throw, throw it as far as you can. Ah. All right, so we are now at the end of the third period. Very o good. Offense has really picked up on both ends. It is now 33 to 28 Trojans. And we still have one period left after this, Sam. Yeah, I mean, they played a lot better in that quarter than they did the entire game. I mean, they doubled their points from the first half. 100%. Lauren Sabia is on a, a roll right now with Amanda Gallagher and Faye Komplinski not too far behind her as well. Yeah. Now, this is usually the most critical uh, quarter of uh, probably the whole basketball game, I, yeah. I'd say. Because like we said before, a lot can happen in these eight minutes. Yep. This is a five-point uh, lead right now, and uh, this is when defense has to step up on both ends. Because Northwest Catholic doesn't want Sims Wright to extend their lead, and Sims Wright doesn't want Northwest Catholic to shrink in the lead. Exactly. It's not how it starts, it's how it finishes. Exactly. But that's usually what the fun part is about basketball. Mm -hmm. Anything could happen. Exactly. In fact, you can say that out for pretty much any sport, really. Yeah. I mean, did you watch the uh, Vikings-Colts game? Holy cow. Uh, that, that is probably one of the biggest uh, miracles I've ever seen in football. Mm -hmm. Greatest comeback in NFL history. Anything could happen. Oh, yeah. Nothing is over until it's over. Exactly. As the great Yogi Berra once said. All right, Northwest Catholic's going to start off the possession around midcourt. Zoe Cannon will inbound it to Maeve Staunton. Pass to Lily Pear, who fakes it. Fakes it again, gives it to Zoe Canning, who gives it to Maeve Staunton. Who passes it back to Lily Pear. Who gives it to Abby Casper, who shoots the three, and it is wow. in. Wow. A two point game. She has More eight here. points this half. All right. Maura Hughes now for the ball. And it looks like that's a defensive foul on number five, I believe. On our five, yes. It'll, it's her second personal team's. Second, that is Maeve Staunton. Reese Wilson now with the ball. Passes it to Komplinski, looking for an opening. To Gallagher. Komplinski passes it to Sabia. Gallagher driving it in. Oh, oh, just missed. Rebound by Maeve Russian, who's taking it up. Who shoots it and misses. And Simsbury gets the by Simsbury. Good recovery by Simsbury. Amanda Gallagher now bringing it up for the court. Passes it to Reese Willison. To Lauren Sabia. Misses. Oh. Zoe Canning with the rebound, taking it up. Passes it to Maeve Staunton. <laughs> That's our Trojan wall. I think that was a uh, Austin Cora. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for a, a three, three is made. Oh wow! And Northwest Catholic has retaken the lead. They've rushed in with the three, her second three of the half. We are now about six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Northwest Catholic has a narrow 34 to 33 lead over our Trojans. Moore Hughes with the ball, sends it to Lauren Sabia to Komplinski with an opening. And, and just like that, the nice Trojans shot. retake the lead. Really back and forth right now. Maeve Staunton going up quick. Pass to Abby Casper, who shoots the three and misses. Nice. Northwest Catholic gets the ball back, though. Maeve Staunton with the ball. And Simsbury with the ball Good. back. Amanda Gallagher now with the, the, the ball. 
Tight defense by Zoe Cannon right now. Very tight defense on both ends right here. But especially from Northwest Catholic. Oh, Lauren Sabia. Oh, foul, oh, though. Got a foul. And it looks like she might get a chance to, to go for two. It is a foul on number, is it number 30, Abby Casper. <clears throat> and it looks like we're going to have a, a quick time game out. 5.25 left to go in the fourth quarter. Simsbury has a one-point lead, 35-34 over uh, Northwest uh, Catholic. Uh, like we said, this is the most crucial part of this whole uh, game. It is. Very close game, really back and forth. Really back and forth. We probably had, like, uh, we've had quite a few lead changes so far we this have, whole game. Uh, first half, you know, it was kind of slow, but now it's, like, just back and forth scoring. Definitely. Very entertaining to watch. And on senior night, too, nonetheless. Yeah. So eventually we're going to have to uh, tally up uh, all, all these uh, points. Mm -hmm. I think we're in for a pretty uh, a pretty uh, fun night, or heck, even a fun season here, Sam. Me too. I think we are. So Lauren Sabia looks like uh, she is going to have a chance to shoot for two. This will extend uh, uh, Simsbury's lead to three. Two shots. Drills the first Very one. Very good. Second shot. Makes the second shot. Very good. Too. Puts Simsbury ahead by three. Maeve Staunton bringing up the ball with Abby Casper right behind her. Passes it to Zoe Canning, who gives it back to Maeve Staunton. Good, really good defense right now by Simsbury. Looks like it was deflected. Passes earlier. it to number 15, Susanna Schaub. Oh, Lauren Xavier with a steal by Simsbury. And jump ball or no? Looks like it's it's a foul on number two. Uh, it'll be Lily Pear. Her first, and it is now there's now four team fouls for Northwest Catholic. Since we're at the ball, Maura Hughes looking to inbound it, but she has uh, Maeve Staunton covering her. Lauren Savia now with the ball driving it up. Amanda Gallagher sends it back to Sabia. A foul. Oh, and I think she's going to get another chance for two. Good put her up. Good put him up about five now. Jeez, stuttering. Make these two shots. You're up by five with a little less than five minutes left. Drills the first All right, one. very nice. Northwest Catholic subbing in number three, Abby Hubbard, for number 14, Zoe Canning. One more shot. Put him up ahead five now. And drills it. Very good. That's four points so far for Lauren Sabia this uh, Quarter. All of them have been in the free throw shots. Mm -hmm. Got to stop that one. <laughs> and it looks like that's going to be a foul on our Trojans. Maeve Staunton will inbound it. Yes, it is a foul on Amanda Gallagher. Maeve Staunton with the inbound to Abby Casper. Who gives it to? Oh, oh! Traveling, yeah. And Trojans will take over. Now Vekoblinski sends it in for two. Gallagher.
Oh, and it looks like it's going back to Northwest Catholic. Four and a half left. Oh, it's a foul on Lauren Sabia. That's her, that's her second and the 15th foul of this half. They've started with the pass to Lily Pear, who misses the three-pointer. Rebounded by Simsbury. Faye Blinsky now with the ball, taking it up. 4.05 left to play. Simsbury leads 39-34. Lauren Sabia tried to go for a shot, but she couldn't find anything. Faye Blinsky now. Abby Hubbard with the rebound, taking it up. Passes it to uh, Maeve Staunton, who gives it to Abby Casper. Gives it back to Maeve Staunton, who tries to go for the shot, but it was good defense. Now couldn't Rose find Pear has it. Couldn't find an opening there. Abby Hubbard with the ball. Back to Lily Pear. Back to Abby Gasper, who gives it to Maeve Staunton. A very good ball handling here from Passes Northwest it Catholic. to number 15, Susanna Schaub with her first points of the game. And at a crucial time, too. Almost a oh, steal. She just nice. face planted. That looked like Sabia once again. With the and one. And the and one. Puts Simsbury ahead by five once again. And this could be up for a six-point game. Northwest Catholic subs in number 25, Brooke Papella, for number two, Lily Pear. And we have 310 left in the fourth quarter. Simsbury is up 41-36. Lauren Sabia looking for a three-point play here. Makes it. And she gets it. The point total got to be a lot. Oh, yeah. Brooke Papella with the ball and a and it looks like timeout. Good. Timeout by Northwest, Northwest Catholic. And here comes uh, Coach Saquon for his speech. <laughs> Overall, this has been a competitive guess, game. A very competitive game. Like you said, Sam, very slow to start in the first half. But once the second half started, uh, the speed just increased. To Both buy. teams really picked it up. Yeah. And, and momentum just kept shifting both ways. Mm -hmm. Simsbury, Simsbury is a little below their average points, but they are pretty good with their points allowed. Oh. Average 38 this season. Well, and also Northwest Catholic uh, has been playing some tremendous defense. Credit to them. They really have, yeah. I mean, how many points did they allow last game? Like 30-something? Uh, yeah, they allowed uh, an average of 34 uh, points, and uh, yeah. we're, we're, we're only eight points ahead of that. All right, Brooke Papella looking to inbound the ball. Maeve Staunton has it. Who passes it to number one, Maeve Russian. Who passes it to number three, Abby Hubbard, who Good. misses it. Pat. Laura Sabian passes it to Maura Hughes. To Faye Komplinski. To Amanda Gallagher. Back oh, to Komplinski. Oh, high. just missed it. I think that might have touched to the tip of her fingers. Northwest Catholic will get another go at it. And Maeve Staunton passes it to Brooke Papella. Again, Casper. Oh, it's nearly good picked defense. off. Very good defense. And it defense is picked there. off. If I'm Simsbury, I'm just trying to waste as much time as possible. Oh, for, for sure, 100%. Or nah, maybe not. I actually, maybe get a three or some points just to kind of seal it up a little bit. Then yeah, try to pad time. the lead a little bit. And it looks like we have a foul. Can never win by too much. Nope. It'll be a foul on number three. That is Abby Hubert. And uh, Amanda Gallagher. Oh, and we have 2.08 left in the fourth quarter. Sinsbury leads 42 to 36. Amanda Gallagher looking to extend this lead up to eight 
with these two foul shots. Misses the first one. Oh, it's only one foul shot, okay. Maeve rushing with the ball, passes it to Maeve Staunton. Two minutes left to go in the game. Who gives it to Abby Hubbard. Gives it back to Maeve Staunton. Who passes it back to Maeve Russian. They're wasting a lot of time here. Maeve Staunton with the ball. They gotta be more aggressive. And it looks like it's gonna be a foul on number four, Maura Hughes. Her third foul of the game. And the sixth team foul of, of the, this half. Quick shot, misses. Not quite, Amanda Gallagher now. Oh, oh with the steal Gallagher. and a foul. Oh, a foul. And she's, okay, never mind, she's fine. She's not dead. No, looked, looked, like, like, it for looked, a looked like she took a little bit of a fall there. One thirty-eight left. Simsbury's up forty-two to thirty-six yep. right now. And number three, Abby Hubbard, will be going for two shots here. With one thirty-eight left to go in this fourth quarter. And makes it. Yeah, he has it. Cut the lead down to four. Lauren Savia with the rebound. This is the shot. <laughs> I guess with a little bit of an assist from the Trojan Wall. Amanda Gallagher now with the ball. Passes it to Maura Hughes. To Laura Savia. Tries nice to pass. Shoot it. Nice pass there. A little bit dangerous, but it worked. Reese Willison with the ball. Back to Faye Kaplitsky. Drives it in. Nice fake. And, and she gets shot. it. Simsbury is now up by seven. Looks like about the same score as the last boys game. I think they're playing right now. I wonder how they're doing. Think... And Abby Casper goes up for the shot. And, and this a, is, and there's a foul. Foul on Northwood Catholic as we enter the last minute of this ball game. 57.8 left. And the foul will be on Northwood Catholic, I believe. It's on number three, Abby Hubert. It is her third personal eight team foul. Manny Gallagher will be going to the line once again to shoot two. Or one. Put the game away with if you make both of these. No, it's, oh, a, it's only one. Man, I got to get these right. Yeah. I'm sounding we, like a fool. It's all right. With the shot and wow. the make. Wow, nice shot. It's that now, really puts him back in. It's a four-point game. 43 44 second, seconds left. 40 seconds left. Since right leads by four. Lauren Sabia passes it to Maura Hughes. Open shot. And, and it's she gets in. it. Three Probably points for Maura Hughes. It's a seven-point game. Staunton going up with the ball. It makes a shot. It's a five-point. Her point. first points of the half. 20 seconds left in the game. And it looks like it's a foul on Northwest Catholic. With 19.7 seconds left, Simsbury has a five point lead, 47 to 42. And Lauren Sabia will be going to the line once again for one shot. And it looks like uh, we're bringing in the other seniors. We are bringing in number 20, Megan Alonzo, and number er, and number 11, Kelsey Alonzo. Okay, 18 seconds left They've to go. They've with the ball. He got to shoot this quick. Back to Lily Pear, who gives it to Maeve Russian. Who gives it to Abby Casper, who makes the oh. shot. And it looks. That's her 10th point of the second half, 15th of the game. And we got a timeout from Northwest Catholic. It is a three point game with seven seconds left to go. This is what it's all about, Sam. It really is. It's pretty entertaining. 
This is very enter. Coming down to the last few seconds. Northwest Catholics got to get the ball quick, and they got to get a desperate three-pointer. They're, they're going to uh, they're gonna have to pick off uh, the uh, inbound uh, pass. And Simsbury is just going to have to try to uh, work their way around uh, their defense and try to burn out these last seven seconds, which is easier said than done. All right, all right, Sam, this is what it's all about here. Simsbury ball. Lauren Sabia looking in and the ball. He's looking for an opening. Pass it to Vika Blitzky. Back to Sabia. Click. Clever move right there. She's all alone, and she gets fouled. fouled. Smart play by the defense right there. Very smart play. Got to hope that she misses this, and then you got to try to get a buzzer beater. Four seconds left. Uh, Simsbury is up 47-44. to 44. The only chance that Northwest has is if she misses this shot. And if she makes it, it's probably game over. And she makes there it. There we go. And uh, number 11, uh, Kelsey Alonzo comes back in. And the Alonzo girls coming back in. Another shot. And misses, but you got to say that's game. And you know, shoot Northern it right Catholic here. Let's it go. Almost Ooh. makes it, but that and is that's game. the ball Simsbury game. Simsbury wins with Sims a final of 48 to 44. I'd say we definitely got an exciting one uh, right I here, Sam. I think we did. I think we did. And I think it's going to be a good season. It's going to be a very uh, good season from what what uh, we've seen. Uh, so, uh, I so looking at these uh, stats, Maura Hughes had that uh, very uh, crucial three pointer near mm -hmm. the end of the game, and Amanda Gallagher had a total of five, and Faye Kaplinski had six, and Lauren Sabian, she had uh, a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to do a, a Most connector. of the points. She so got uh, quite a few points. For Northwest, Maeve Russian had six, um, two three-pointers that were very nice shots. Lily Pear with three. Abby Hubbard with one uh, foul shot. Uh, Maeve Staunton with seven. Zoe Canning with six. Uh, Susanna Schaub with two. Brooke Papello with three, and Abby Casper with 15. All right, and the next game we will be doing will be for the boys' basketball game January 10th against Edwin O. Smith, and I don't think you want to miss that uh, one, folks. We want, we want to give a huge shout-out to uh, uh, Bob Bromlick, my dad, who is doing the camera work, as well as Patrick Phelan, our station manager at SETV, or SEM, uh, as you call it, and Bree, who would do a fantastic job in produ making these productions, not just the sporting events, but any production, uh, mm -hmm. look amazing. So I'd say this was a pretty successful uh, first so broadcast. Too. And Sam, I am uh, very happy to have you on board, and I'm looking forward to doing more games. And uh, this is Will Bronick uh, and Sam Poblano saying uh, good night from Sims Wright High School, and we will see you next time. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.